but you're not a know-it-all that you think you are, and you probably didn't see what you thought you saw. If I would have heard that, I probably would have been like, that is, why are you saying that? I don't even know where I was. Was I like running with the girls or what? Why didn't I hear that? I don't think God likes lying. You should be really careful, Alexis, or you might be meeting that really red hot man one day. But you don't, but you need you don't to do know that me to us. You don't enough need to say to do that, that that's us. how I am and that I'm phony because of that one instance. We I want to like explain you. this to you a little bit on the plane. There's some things that you do sometimes do that sounds very pretentious and sometimes comes across as um, demeaning or like your superior or something like that. And and I gave you the example about the car thing when you were like, and I go, oh, when not you get the Bentley? You're like, oh, that's so two months ago. And I was like, oh. And then you go, well, we do have an A-car garage. I'm your friend, so I know where your heart is, but to somebody like Heather or Tamara that really doesn't know you, it sounds very pretentious. What really stings is when Gretchen chimes in with everyone else. You've seen it, you've seen it. I don't know if you've seen it because you didn't say I'm saying nothing. I've seen You're things. I'm saying nothing. I'm sincerely saying nothing because I wasn't part of this conversation. And all I know is there's many, many times I feel beneath you. And I probably have more money than you do. But I'm just different because I'm a financial planner. So I look at money so different than 99% of the world. And so I don't care if I have eight cars, 10 cars, one car. I would never buy Phantom and a Bentley. I would put the money in the bank and keep it conservative and get to a place of peace and retirement. It's not about the stuff. My husband buys and sells art. He buys cars. Guess what? He got such good deals on those cars. Instead of sitting in the bank, we get to enjoy it. He will sell it and make more or almost the same amount because he used to be in the car business, so he knows that. It's so a depreciating it's, asset. But if car. you get a good enough deal on it, Tamara, yeah, I know. You can still, I've been with we, somebody my husband, in the car business a long time. I know, but my husband has been very good at doing it in the past. He knows what he's doing. Yes, we like nice art. Yes, we like nice cars. Who cares? We she know. Likes you guys talk about, about it all the time. Who cares? What does her home have to do with anything? I'm saying she doesn't she's talk her about money it. somewhere else. I'm buying a house, cash. Like people don't say things like that. I only like said that because you said we were bankrupt. I know, but you still don't say that. You don't have to say that in order to show you. You don't have to prove anybody's point. I'm not trying to prove anything. You don't have to prove Trying to prove that you don't have you don't a, say. knowledge to what you're saying. It's no one's place to judge right. what you have or what right. you have or you're what right. you like you're to right. spend your right. money on. Right. Right. Talking about right. you talk. What she spends her money on or what you spend your money on. You're coming to a, in a jungle with a Louis Vuitton handbag. So don't sit here and tell me you need to fix that about you. Who does that? Who does that? When you should look in the mirror. That. That's what you should do. You need to look in the mirror. Because we like fine things, we should not be punished for that. We don't want your money. We don't I give you all the. so mean and hateful all the time either, no, okay? I'm not so if you want to talk hateful. about what people need to work on, stop being so mean and hateful because you wrote the book for it, okay? Oh, come I don't on, Alexa. make rude comments to you. Come I don't tell on. people things bad about you. I don't do that. Either do I. I. Every... Either do I. Yes, you do. Terry no, said you did. I... Terry. Terry supposedly hears it from that, so yes, you no, do. No, me and Terry have never talked about you. Ever. It's funny how he hears that then, Tamara. This isn't about Terry. This is about Alexis and her behavior and how she treats people. Stop pointing fingers at my husband because that's getting us nowhere. Tamara, that's you're the most rude, mean, hateful person at this table and you're sitting here telling me who does that? Just because she gets her, her breast taken out, her, her implants out now, all of a sudden she's real? <sighs> Please. Don't sit here and point the finger at me and go, who does that? Because you know what? Yes, I'm I'm a human. I am going to make mistakes. We don't do it for no reason. I do have this. bad faults, and I don't like them, and I want to fix them. We all do. Leave Alexis alone. We're all phony and materialistic at some level. Look in the mirror, girls. Personally, I don't care what anyone has. I have friends from all different walks of life and all different social stratas and everything. What I care about is that someone's authentic. Don't present something that you're not and don't put up a wall. I understand what you guys are saying. I really do. What she's doing sometimes is coming across inappropriate or, or pretentious or whatever it is. I've experienced with, with her as well. So here's what is going to happen, okay? If there's an issue with Alexis, we all need to say, Lex, the way you just said that made me feel this way, okay? Alexis sometimes exaggerates and says things that are contradictory, and she's giving out this perception that is unauthentic. Lex, let's hug it out. Come on. Let's hug it out. Why don't we start fresh? Can we do that? 
Christ, I'm going to be alone right now for a few minutes. Okay. I don't think I've ever experienced what just occurred at that table. I've never had so many mean and just so many girls at one time just be so completely heartless.